Hey everyone, Vega here for Serpent X Tech. Unfortunately, there's no caffeine in crypto today, but because it is the holidays, I just wanted to take some time to first thank you for your support over the years as this channel has grown. I still plan on continuing to grow throughout the crypto community, but remember my channel isn't just about crypto, it's also about tech. I always love tech, hardware, fine tuning, breaking down or tear downs, the whole nine yards. So I can appreciate both sides of the coin, especially gaming. But for those of you who know who I am, I just wanted to say thank you for your support. Thank you for liking the videos, subscribing to the channel, making sure notifications are turned on, and just coming in and checking in with us uh, weekly, even with our internet issues. That's not why we're having ca not having caffeine and crypto today, but it's the holiday, right? You want to spend time with the family. You want to go and do things with your loved ones, whoever it may be, your little ones. Go enjoy it. Stop looking at the charts. Stop getting consumed. Um, and of course, because I'm recording this ahead of time for a Saturday release, the numbers that I show you today may be different by the time you're watching this. You know, Bitcoin dropped down to 16.7. There's a little bit of a dip, more FUDs being spread. Ethereum's at 12, almost 12.20. Uh, BNB has been dropping down, especially as of earlier. You can see this sharp V right here uh, because of concerns about Binance and uh, CZ, so on and so forth. XRP still doing what it's doing. 34 cents. Dogecoin at 7 cents. Um, was at 9 earlier this week. Cardano is at 25 cents. Matic or Polygon's at 80 cents. And we could just keep going on and on. But if you sit here and you look at the charts 24 7, you're going to cause yourself nothing but stress. And I would say focus on your conviction convictions whatever it may be whatever cryptocurrency project that you have long-term belief in and stack those sats or whatever the cryptocurrency terminology is for that particular cryptocurrency like ethereum is gray bitcoin is sat so just stack them get as much as you can obviously take care of yourself first your bills and all that stuff but as far as news um, there's a lot of different pieces that have been covered by various content creators out there like crypto zombie uh, crypto wendio so on and so forth but uh, SBF or Sam Bankman Fried uh, from FTX is going to be uh, or is set to be extradited to the US. We'll see how things unfold as more and more news gets, you know, brought to the surface or more and more information gets brought to the surface. There's a little bit of a kerfuffle on Twitter uh, with the, the press and freedom of speech and so on and so forth. So unfortunately, uh, we kind of got a mixed bag throughout the entire world right now and usually when people are broke usually when people are down and, and you know funds are tight because of inflation or this current economic situation we start to turn in on each other and start to attack one another i would say just be kind to one another you know don't be a negative nancy don't be a mood killing karen just be kind to one another and look forward to the future because the cryptocurrency the underlying technology of blockchain the fundamentals of some of these projects especially the top projects is still sound and i do believe that while we are going through a winter both figuratively and uh metaphorically uh that we will come out to the other side to greener pastures but you know bitcoin dri uh, dropped down north korea is still hacking uh, and making billions of dollars off of crypto to fund its economy, which we've known for years, not just in crypto, but overall. And of course, the slump is still going down. We're going to have regulation coming down the pipeline. Some people are skeptical. Some people are excited for it. I think it's going to be a, a mixed bag as far as regulating and making sure that individuals such as Sam Bankman Free can't do what they did again is uh, a positive, but also how far they stretch or try to you know reach to control this ecosystem would be a negative so fine tuning it and working with various uh you know politicians people in regulation people in these sectors and we do have people in there that have sound judgment that understand cryptocurrency technology blockchain and are trying to make sure that the, they're educating these individuals not all of them have been educated as you can see through various news outlets and senators and Republicans or Democrats are on both sides of the aisles. So they're still uneducated. They're not fully understanding of the overall technology and the underlying blockchain uh, structure, how it works. But there are people that do have this knowledge and they're trying to affect change in their own circle of individuals. But as far as you and I, just keep on going. Um, you know, 
GPU mining is not profitable right now. I certainly understand why you would turn off your rigs. Uh, some of you in the cold areas are turning your rigs back on because it's a good heater, right? If you're going to spend electricity, you might as well heat your house. And some people are, are com, you know, confirm their convictions and are focusing on a certain cryptocurrency or certain projects that they believe is going to be around a long term. But yes, they're they're mining at a negative and they're having to pay uh, pay out for electricity every month um, in the negative, but they're still focused because they believe there's going to be some positive uh, news coming out of it to where they'll be able to take profits later on. So while a lot of people are saying mining is dead, crypto mining is dead, that's not that's not really a good statement because Bitcoin mining isn't dead. Uh, ASIC mining isn't dead. Uh, whether you got an L7 or, you know, even a S19 XP or whatever the latest version is, maybe you got a KDA miner, you know, it, maybe you got a small, you know, efficient 200 watt miner that's still doing really good. You know, there's different levels of mining. There's FPGA minings, which we've seen a lot come on the Casper network. So I wouldn't say mining is dead per se, but GPU mining is certainly taking a hit since the Ethereum merger uh, or swap to proof of stake and the economic downturn, the whole market, everybody, not just crypto, is taking a hit. So just hang tight, you know, focus on what your needs are, focus on what you need to do and keep moving forward. And again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for all the kindness and support that you've provided to this channel. I know there's a few assholes out there, but you ignore the noise and you keep moving forward. Set your goals, set your uh, expectations high, and focus on what you need to do. I'm getting a little bit teary-eyed. But anyways, again, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa. Wherever you are in this world, I wish you nothing but the best. You guys know who I am as an individual and what I strive to do. And I just thank you for your support. You all take care, but do me a favor on the way out. Don't forget to hit the like button. Make sure to get subscribed, hit notification bell to stay up to date as well. as Check out links in the description that will support the channel and what we do here. And don't forget, every Saturday, usually I'm on, but I'm not this this pat, this Saturday that you're watching. But you got Crypto Mikhail in the morning. You got Rabbit Mining at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And you got a number of other crypto content creators like Chump Change during the evening. So continue to support your, your fellow content creators. But don't be afraid to grab a camera yourself and get into it. This community has grown so much. And I'm impressed that the growth continues even during this economic downturn or this bear market or this slump or whatever the hell you want to call it it's good to see new users new individuals coming online sharing their data sharing their information trying to help one another out and that's what the crypto mining community um that's the biggest feature that i like that's the biggest attribute that i like is that you know we we work together and there were, there's been some troubling times where we started to kind of fold in on ourselves and and kind of be like oh that guy sucks and that guy's cool or whatever don't do that just, you know, if there's people you watch and you can rotate to and you can kind of gravitate to what their presence is and, and the way they distribute their information, I completely understand. My The way I conduct myself or the information I provide and the way I provide that data may not be advantageous uh, to some people, so, but there might be somebody out there who will. And that's why if you pick up a camera and join the community, you may grow. It's going to take time. It's going to be a grind, but hang in there and... Uh, Thanks for joining us, right? Take care, guys. I'll catch you next one.